So welcome to Sales at the Interview. Just a little bit about me. I'm Sheldon Banks. I'm the CEO of Rework Training. And I grew up on the south side of Chicago in a low income neighborhood. And so you could imagine with no college degree as a high school dropout, I had to figure out how to interview relatively fast. Otherwise, I was going to stay with the jobs that you find on Craigslist and Facebook. I didn't want to live that life for the rest of my life. I wanted a, a good job. Sales at the interview is a class that I put together where I combine the things that I learned from sales, the things that I learned from management, and put it together in a way that appealed to somebody that looked like me, where I'm from, to be able to speak the same language, to help them effectively get through interviews at big tech companies, like the ones we place folks at at Rework. Here's our agenda. I got a couple of ground rules before we get started. Here are the ground rules. So ask questions, be present, engage, fully be open-minded, and participation is required. Every class that we do at Rework, we also like to have an agenda. So here's our agenda for today. Relatively brief, and I'll blow this up so everybody can see it. Our agenda is, is as follows. So we're going to talk a little bit about what is sales. So we're going to talk a little bit about the traditional sales process, or at least the traditional sales process as I learned it. We're going to talk about how to ace the interview using sales, and then I'll answer any questions that you drop in the chat. Here's where the first level of participation starts at. So I'm going to show on the screen four different pictures. Four pictures. I got a coach up here, Phil Jackson with Michael Jordan. I got a doctor right below him. To the left of the doctor, I got, looks like a teacher helping a student. And then above the teacher helping a student, I got a parent helping a child. What do all four of these pictures have in common? Are her like relationships, are her like guidance, wisdom. I mean, I've seen all kinds of teaching. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, here, I'm gonna put a different picture up here. I got folks at an interview. What do these four pictures have in common with the last four pictures? So then I start getting answers like human connection and diversity. But interestingly enough, what each of these pictures have in common is actually summed up in this picture. This is a guy, a used car salesman. He's in sales. Most of the time when people think of sales, this is usually what they think of. Sleazy used car salesman. And they oftentimes think of the adjectives that go along with salespeople like hustler or sleazy or super ambitious. And oftentimes the majority of the adjectives that come along with looking at this guy are almost negative. But when we think about a teacher, when we think about a parent, when we think about a coach, when we think about a person at the interview, whether you like it or not, they are all in sales. They're all convincing. They're all persuading. They're all trying to get somebody to do something. And so that is why we built this class to change one, to change the perception of how people think about sales. And so in order to do that, we got to ask ourselves the question and we got to at least answer the question, what is sales? To do that, one of my favorite authors, a guy named Daniel Pink, he had an amazing definition of what is sales. And I'm just going to put it right here. This is how Daniel Pink in the book To Sell as Human defines it. Sales is time and energy devoted to moving others. This includes persuading, influencing and convincing others. And the reality is, is that people spend about 40% of their time selling others in ways that don't involve anyone making a purchase. And so if you're a parent, you're convincing your kids all the time to eat their vegetables. If you're a coach, you're convincing your players to listen to you about their plays. And if you are at an interview, you are attempting to convince somebody to give you a job. And so the reality is, is that we're all in sales. And despite the fact that so many people, they hate the idea of sales. When I ask people, hey, I'm in sales, people kind of cringe and get this. It's like, oh, I don't want to be in sales. Like sales is so, when people will say, I'm not a salesman, it's like, oh, if you're not a salesman, that probably explains the reason you having a tough time landing a job. So again, our goal today is to, to change people's perceptions about sales and help you be more effective at selling at the end of the day.